Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to give you guys a brief overview of the new spending event dropping on the 29th, details about the updated standard banner roster, and pull recommendations for new players and veterans alike. So let's begin with the main event here, the spending event, and of course our grand prize, the new modifier Thoth. In order to get Thoth from the spending event, you will need to do 320 pulls, which is 64,000 shifted stars. I know this sounds like a lot for a single character, but you're supposed to take this time to summon for other characters or functors you needed, not really Thoth herself unless you're going for SS+. For example, the following modifiers can be summoned via the custom precise scan banner, Sekhmet, Buzenbo, Kagutsuchi, Izanami, Mitsuha, Lingguang, Gengchen, and Yingzhou. You can summon for them while making progress toward a free copy of Thoth and her functor. You don't have to burn all those summons on Thoth's banner directly. Of course, if you want double S+, plus, you can summon on her banner. But for the most part, this is a good time to grab anything you might have missed out on. As for my recommendation from that list, if you want Thoth, grabbing Sektmet is a must here if you missed her. Lingguang and Buzenbo are great picks as well as Izanami and Mitsuha. By the way, these are the milestone rewards for the event. At just 20 pulls, you'll get 5 limited banner tickets. At 40 pulls, 60 origin firmament. At 60 pulls, you get 5 functor scan tickets. At 90 pulls, you'll get 20 outfit vouchers. At 120 pulls, you'll receive 10 more limited banner tickets. At 150 pulls, you'll get some of the new skill upgrade materials. At 180 pulls, you get an unawakened functor for Nile. At 240 pulls, you get 150 gold sigil module T3s. And finally, at 320 Thoth herself. Some of you may think the event is pretty ridiculous, since you can get both Thoth and her functor for just 170 pulls max if you just summon her the regular way. You can just do that. Although if you choose to go that route, I recommend trying to hit the 180 mark, summon for Thoth on the anchor banner, use the custom scan to summon for another character, or a functor for that matter. Just don't summon for a Nile functor because you get one at 180 pulls. Hell, you can even just build pity on the anchor banner. And once you hit the 180 mark, get your free Nile functor and just save the pity you've accumulated. Moving on to our next topic, the updated standard banner roster. Once the new update goes live, the following modifiers will be summonable in the custom standard banner. This is big for a lot of us, especially new players. If I remember correctly, you will also be able to buy their fragments from the recurring dream shop, but that might come into play later when Verthandi drops. This update should also drop with a new beginner banner. This banner will be available for all players and have a pity of 40. Originally, we actually got the 40 standard banner ticket needed to hit the pity on this banner. We have to wait for official news to see how it plays out on global, but on screen now are the units available on the beginner banner. So let me go ahead and give you guys some recommendations. First of all, let's just eliminate who I don't think you should pick from this banner. Oceanus, my boy Meng Jiang, and Hell. If you have Buzenbo and don't have Tsukuyomi, she is a great pick. Even if you don't have Buzenbo yet, you can just summon her during the event. Both Thor and Osiris are here, so you already know what to do. You need Thor for Osiris, and Osiris for Thor. You also need Thor for Shu. So if you have Shu, you can grab Thor here. Osiris will gain a skill chain with Thoth in the future. So if you don't have her and plan on getting Thoth this patch, you can consider getting her here. Lastly, Athena isn't really in a good place right now, but once Artemis comes out, they become a pretty solid team, so if you had your eyes on Artemis, the choice here is an easy one. Also, all of these units will be standard banner units soon, so you can double S them from the recurring dream shop. To wrap things up, this event is definitely worth investing in. Even if you didn't come with the 320 pull needed to clean shop, you technically don't even have to pull any five stars. You can just build 180 pulls worth of pity. Remember, you can still make progress towards your free Thoth and the Functor without directly pulling for them. Hopefully this was useful information for you guys, but until we meet again, friends.